In the previous lecture, we discussed the analysis of variance for single factor experiment. That is uh, just uh, comparing several population mean. If it is uh, accepted uh, H0, okay, null hypothesis is all population means are the same, then you are done. Okay, your analysis is done. But if H0 all the population means are equal, if it is rejected, what would happen? You might be curious which one, which pair of mean cause that kind of difference. That's today's topic. Let's look at the example. We are here, I mean, after 9.1, we are curious about the multiple comparison. And today I'm going to discuss also residual analysis. Do you remember this example? In a college, there are students which have a different grade. We calculate sample average of each grade. The hypothesis look like this. Okay? All the four grade, they have the same sample mean in English proficiency score, or at least one pair of mu i is not the same. The calculation we have done is, we are using the variance ratio called the mean square treatment divided by mean square error. That is the reason we call the analysis of variance. It follows this F distribution. And based on the calculation, we reject H0. That means, uh, well, there is uh, something, some of them, which is not equal. How to find that? That is a multiple comparison. Well, the multiple comparison is, suppose you have a K population. We are doing the testing hypothesis of this amount. How much amount? Okay? Suppose you have a K population. It is K combination 2. What kind of test we are using? It look like a t-test, I mean, comparing two population means, but somehow, well, I cannot explain detail, you need to use this kind of test statistic. I mean, sample mean difference, and if it is uh, some HSD distribution, two kiss HSD distribution, if it is greater than the, that value, will reject H0. How do you calculate that? I mean, from East U, you can find this table. It looks like the same degree of freedom as F, and then square root of I mean, this value. We call this is a studentized range distribution. You can find it in East U. Okay? In the menu, you can find the HSD studentized range distribution like this. Okay? That's a numeric, numerator degree of freedom. This is a denominator degree of freedom. Let's consider the example. Well, it is the related with the example 9.11. You want to apply multiple comparison. That means you want to apply this kind of hypothesis we have uh, four population from freshman to senior. Therefore, four combination two is uh, six uh, possibility of comparison. We call that is multiple comparisons. Well, here are six comparisons, mu1, mu2, mu1, mu3, mu3, mu1, mu4, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4, like that. Depending on Test, you need to look up HSD value and find this value first, QK and minus K. K is in this case 4. Okay. N is a total number of sample. Uh, that is uh, 21, right? 21 minus 4, okay. And calculate corresponding value and you're going to decide whether accept or reject. 
new one two which one is rejected one two one three one four it looks like it is uh, accepted and two three is accepted two four and then three four they rejected okay i mean we consider all kind of uh, pairs of comparison among the this cause rejection okay mu3 and mu4 well they are not equal mu2 mu4 is not equal these two cause uh, some problem well if you look at the east output maybe let's go there Can you see that? I mean, you have an analysis of variance table. They provide you multiple comparison like this. Okay? The way you are looking these things like this. Okay? They calculate the difference value between mean is 1 and 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. So they calculate mean difference. And they are doing so 95% HSD value look like this. Based on this, this is a summary table. You already saw that 2, 4 and 3, 4 caused some rejection. I mean, this is the portion is 3, 4, 2, 4. They put asterisk, asterisk sign here. It is uh, symmetrical. Maybe it's the same thing. It's uh, three, four, two, four. Okay? But in this case, they arrange the sample mean in ascending order. Therefore, you can see the mu four is here. Okay? This is the sign of a rejection. Okay? Well, in some statistical package. If it is rejected with the 5% significance level, they put asterisk just a star. If it is rejected with 1%, well, they put two asterisk, asterisk sign, two star sign. Okay. okay, that's the multiple comparison. What does it mean, residual analysis? I mean, in case of analysis of variance, remember we are using model like uh, mu. Let's use uh, this one. It's a uh, y i j is a uh, mu plus alpha i. And then some kind of uh, error term. Okay. What does it mean residual? Somehow we this is population the parameter. We have to find uh, some estimate. Estimate of epsilon i j we call residual. The assumption about the uh, epsilon look like this. It should be independent. And each variance of epsilon ij should be constant. Okay? Also, it should be normally distributed, uh, but epsilon ij is uh, some kind of assumption about the population we are calculating from yij in each value we subtract the corresponding the mean, corresponding mean of each group. We call this is residual and residual analysis. What they are doing is by plotting something, they'd like to check this assumption. Yes, output. In case of ESTAT, they provide you this uh, kind of residual. I mean, this represents residual. And the way you are looking is I mean, residual is around the zero value. You are looking at the randomness. It, are they randomly scattered here? 
well if it is uh, I mean if it has uh, some kind of a strange curve uh, it violates our assumption also second assumption is some each x i j y i j value epsilon i j should be should have the same variance that means graphically this kind of variance should be similar in this graph it look like similar but if you have data like i mean some kind of this pattern it violates the assumption the third assumption is checking is the normality of this residual you need a separate graph of some residual like a histogram whether it follows normal or not but here maybe we are checking just randomness i mean same variance like that we call this is residual okay this is uh, all for analysis of variance for single factor experiment in summary we do analysis of variance and if it is accepted your analysis is over but if it is rejected we are doing uh, multiple comparison i mean which pair of means cause uh, rejection that's multiple comparison and then we are checking whether residuals follows the assumption i mean randomness uh, same variance and then normality okay see you in next